Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is very exciting and I'm so happy to show you. Today we are making a super cute and magical mushroom lamp. It's not my idea, I've seen them on Pinterest and people sell them on Etsy. They look amazing but they are so expensive. So I decided to buy the materials and make one myself. So let's dive right in. I bought Fimo dough which hardens in the oven to make the mushroom stems. I bought those colors. I only used the sand one and the transcendent white one. By the way, that wasn't on purpose. I wanted a normal white, but it's a happy accident because the stem partly glows now too. And that looks really nice actually. You will see that later. So I recommend the transcendent white one. From those three small packs, I was able to make 14 stems different sizes from 1 cm tall to 15 cm tall. You can get a lot out of the Fimo, even so it doesn't look like a lot though. To make them glow, we will use a LED chain of lights. And I just bought a very cheap one, 30 lights for 1 euro 50. I've also seen some tutorials where they make their own LED chain to place the lights right where they want them to. In my case, some LEDs just disappear in the stems and don't create any light. But I knew that before and I mean 1 euro 50 and no electrical work was worth it in my opinion. So to make them glow we will use a LED chain of lights and we will thread the chain through a hole in the stem. Therefore, we need to create a continuous hole in the stem. So I pushed one of my brush handles through. I've also seen some easier tutorials where they just hot glued around a chain of lights to make the stems, but I wanted to do a more complex version with Fimo. I baked the stems in the oven with 100 degrees for 30-35 minutes. That's the recommended time. I wasn't sure because when I put them out they still felt a little bit too soft, but they hardened while cooling down. Next, I went to my parents' house because I needed my father to help me and I especially needed his tools. There I made the mushroom heads out of transparent silicone because the silicone needs time to dry, so I made them first. I already made a test one a few days ago. I tried watercolors and acrylic paint to color the transparent silicone and I decided for the watercolors because it's still very see-through and it automatically results in little bubbles and color gradients which look more magical and organic in my opinion. So here's how I make them. I put the amount of silicone I need on the cling film. I choose the watercolor I want and put it next to the blob of silicone and then I mix the color into the silicone with a wooden stick. Then I put another cling film on top and form the silicone to a circle and then lay that one over something curved or a ball, something that looks like a mushroom head. In that position you need to let the silicone dry. That takes longer than silicone normally dries, maybe because of the cling film or because of the additional water, but it will dry. It just takes a little bit longer. I recommend you letting them dry overnight. I bought a glass belcher with a wooden plate on eBay and I told my father to saw out the exact space for the battery box of the fairy lights. Then everything was prepared. The fun part is starting now. I already had some dried moss, but I also collected some wood and bark and other stuff. I chose the prettiest mushroom stems and threaded the light chain through all the stems. 
so they are connected. In my case, I only had enough chain for those seven, so that would be the only problem if you want to buy a cheap LED string. They are normally around one meter long, and that's how much I needed for those seven stems. So if you want to do one as well, but do it bigger, then you need to make sure that your light chain is long enough to connect all of those stems and mushrooms together. Everything I'm doing now is just hot gluing. I first placed some big extra wood to create some height differences and glued all of the mushroom stems and the chain of lights in place. When that was done, I decorated everything with moss, shiny stones, a pine cone and other stuff. When gluing the moss and all the decoration, I tried to cover every visible part of the chain. The last part is to fix the silicone mushroom heads onto the stems. Mine were only drying for four hours. That wasn't perfect because parts of the silicone were still wet, but they were dry enough to work with them. When out of the cling film, I cut it in form with normal scissors because there's extra silicone hanging on the edge. Unfortunately, I didn't film that. Important to know, you can't hot glue the silicone because it doesn't bind together. So you need to use silicone again to glue the silicone on. For some of the mushroom heads, I created little construction underneath to place the head higher than the LED because then the light spreads better and diffuses a little bit more. Let it dry and you're done. So what did all of that cost? I bought the glass bell jar on eBay. I bought two of them for 28 euros, so one of them 14 euros. I would have only needed two packs of Fimo, one transcendent white and one sand colored one, each one 2.99, so 5.98. I used one light chain for 1 euro 50, one transparent silicone for 2.95. That makes a total of 24.43 and of course all of that. I didn't add that in my calculation because I had all of that at home and didn't spend any money on that. So you need to be aware that could be some extra costs if you want to do one as well. And the time of work I spent, let's say 7 hours and 25 bucks in total. I had stems and silicone for spare, so I decided to make two more little ones. I was covering the battery box with bark and just glued all of that stuff on the lid of a jam jar. That would be a possibility to make some if you, for example, don't have a saw. Yes, the small ones don't look as good as the big one because the glass just isn't that pretty, but still so adorable. I love them so much, they are so magical, so the rest of the video will only be beauty shots of them. I hope you love them too, it was so fun to make them. Goodbye and have some magical holidays!